Yeah. All right, I'm going to explain to you folks today. Uh, if you're interested how you're going to brace your wall and repair the rotten base plates in our manufactured house. I'm going to show you the damage. And no. so you can get an idea of what I'm doing here. All right. If you can see that damage, see how this piece of metal here pushes out. See the lump in it? That tells you how far the 2x4s have sunk down because it pressed that metal plate out in a manufactured house. When your siding blows out, that's what you get. This whole plate here due to uh, mildew and rotten damage, but the 2x4s are still solid. So I'm replacing this base plates and possibly the outer 2x6. There are two of them. So I'm going to show you this part is, I'll do a backup, is the board that I have put on there. It's a decking board. Three screws on each 2x4 that are holding up the wall. Then you have the jacks, one here with a 2x4, and there's one over here. And I'm going to put a 2x4 on that. Now I'm going to show you in a moment. Okay, I'm going to show you now how I'm going to first place this other 2x4 scrap piece that I got laying around. Put this one in the other jack. So you can see how the house I had it temporarily. I was testing it yesterday to see if it would brace. Raise the wall. Hopefully, this. As I'm lifting this, you'll be able to see, I'll show you, this little wrinkle in this metal is going to come out. It will go straight. When it's straight, the wall is where it needs to be in height. That will pull tight and straight. If everything goes well and this 2x4 doesn't explode. about an inch to go if all goes well creaking scary doing eight feet long section at a time that's how much weight is on this board if it starts to look scary too scary I'll stop <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I ain't gonna lie. The shit in your pants. <laughs> now, 
Wait, wait. What's wrong? It's still there's. It's not hard anymore. It's going up. No. Okay. But it's still got about a half inch to go in height on this end. Scaredy, scaredy. This is what you call scared ass. metal looks like you've seen before now you'll get to see the after hopefully these boards don't explode on me while I'm doing this now you can see it's pulled tight that one there is pulled tight too now now that that is lifted up off of there I am going to cut and remove both of these of these beams here and remove them and insert new ones. They are a one by four, each of them. In the factory, one used a cut piece of plywood into one by four strips and they used a one by four piece of non weather resistant wood, which is by code what you're supposed to use but if you used weather resistant wood, this would never happen. As termites and mold don't grow well in weather resistant wood. So that's the viewer's choice, what you would put in there. I know what I'm using.